Now we're going to establish an HD access file which will help you make your social network or any website that you're building for that matter more user friendly and secure. Before watching this video you'll want to check and see if your public HTML directory online already has an HD access file in it. If it does you can add things to it easily enough by using your FTP software to download the file and adjust it. If you have no HD access file in your public HTML directory yet you can follow along with me now as I create my HD access file and FTP it to my web server online. Before I discuss making the file and establishing server settings inside of it, I want to show you the default server behavior that I wish to change. Default server behavior that I just don't like. I'm on a Linux PHP Apache based server which I think is the default for most hosting accounts nowadays when they are established. If you're not on an Apache server, you must go a different route to change these type of settings. Okay, bad server behavior, default server behavior. Issue number one for me is if I type in images, I can go and browse all of the files within my images directory. Anybody can. And that's an issue that we have to address. And you guys have to keep in mind that people will know my secret folder names just because I'm exposing my whole system in this lesson series. So don't name your folders the same thing I'm going to name my folders and things like that. And you won't have an issue with anybody knowing what you, your script folders might be named and things like that. The only reason you guys know what my all of my folders are is because my entire directory is going to be open to you guys throughout the lesson series, throughout the videos. You're going to see a lot of things that normally people won't see about your server. So I'm going to have more security problems than you would, most definitely. All you have to do is name your things differently than I have. Okay, now issue number two, which is another pretty big issue, that if any pages ever get deleted or somebody just, say, happens to navigate to poopsnot.html on your website, see, you get some generic 404 error page that the server automatically throws up. But what you can do is customize that, and it gives you a better user experience, especially if you were to throw your search bar for your search mechanism for your website right on the the custom 404 page that you create and I'll show you how to make the settings to navigate to a custom 404 page when this occurs if somebody navigates to a web address or directory that does not exist on your server now we'll be using Dreamweaver to create our HD access file but you can use notepad it's pretty much the same procedure so you go to file new and I'll just quickly select HTML and then I'll press Control S to save the file. And down here, I want to go from All Documents to All Files. Make sure it says All Files. And HD Access is a little bit weird in which it has no name in front. Of, it has no file name in front of the dot. You just give it the dot and its extension, which is HD Access. And that's the type of file it is. And save. And so you want to make sure it looks just like this. And if you're in Dreamweaver and it happens to be Design Mode, don't put your code there. Go to Code View remove all this default crap the Dreamweaver puts in. Now let's knock out those two issues. All you have to do is set these two lines. Really the lines with the pound sign in front of them are just comments. All you need is these two lines. One and two. Now what this one does is it establishes a custom 404 file not found page. So if your user happens to go to a file that has been deleted by your system or if they type in some address that doesn't exist on your website it'll automatically go to file not found dot PHP or you can name it whatever the hell you want dot HTML or whatever I don't care and on that page you can have a search bar for your website your search mechanism can be right there you can put some nice message like hey that file wasn't found but would you like to search our website and that can be on the page the file not found dot HTML or dot PHP that you want to create now the next directive is preventing directory file listing in all of your folders and you can just use index ignore space asterisk and that will work for hiding all files in all of your child folders alright so now let's press control S and let's be sure to FTP this file to our public HTML folder online right now now after you FTP that HT access file to your public HTML folder refresh your website live online and then go to forward slash poopsnot.html hit enter and now you have your custom 404 error page. See, minus custom says that page does not exist on Web Intersect. Press back in your browser software. Adam Curry. 
But if I want to, I can have all kind of extravagant things there, and lovely messages, and search mechanisms for my whole website. Now let's check out that other issue and see if that's rectified as well. Let's go to images folder, forward slash, enter, and now index of images, it shows nothing. Now another tip for you guys is that you can use a, a .php file, an index.php file, inside of your images folder, or all the folders on your website, and what you can do is stick that index.php file in there and have the header function inside of it. Just one line of PHP code inside of it that is the header function and header them back to the main uh, home page of your website. So if anybody happens to go to images and hits enter like this, they'll be instantly navigated, boom, back to your home page. And they won't really know what has happened, but they'll know that they didn't belong wherever they were trying to go. So that's an alternate route that you can go if you don't want to use this uh, HD access to prevent directory file listing in all of your folders. You can just stick an index.php file in all of those folders that will usher them back to the home page if they happen to try and sneak a peek at the directory listing. Now keep in mind there are a whole lot of HD access directives that you can put inside of your HD access file and by the end of my site actually when it goes to running there's more directives that I'm going to want to have in place inside of mine. And there's also something called a php.ini file if any of you guys are interested in researching how you can fully configure the way PHP runs and operates on your specific server. So your php.ini file also has a lot of things and settings inside of it that can allow you to secure your website a little bit more and make it more user friendly. So don't skip out on researching your php.ini file. Alright, so that just gives you a little extra blanket of protection and it starts you on your way to understanding all the directives that you can have in place within your HD access file. And if you Google things about HD access, you can find thousands and thousands of pages of information on all the different various things that you can have within your HD access file. So have fun doing that. Bye.